गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन वेलकम बैक टू क्लास आफ्टर द समर ब्रेक हाउ आर यू ऑल डूइंग आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड हैड अ ग्रेट समर ब्रेक एंड यू हैव रिवाइज ऑल द लेसन्स दैट इज टॉट टू यू सो नॉट चिल्ड्रेन इट्स टाइम टू स्टार्ट आर क्लास वी विल बिगिन विथ लिटरेचर पार्ट लेसन वन monkey trouble this is a humorous story which was written by ruskin bond so before we start let me give you a brief description about the author ruskin bond is an indian author who lives with his family in masuri he loves to write about the hills his childhood and the different animals some of His popular works are The Room on the Roof and The Trees Grow in Dehradun. So the present story Monkey Trouble is about an unusual pet named Tutu. So children, let us read this lesson to find out about Tutu. We will begin with the reading. Let's start. Grandfather bought Tutu from a street entertainer for ten rupees. The man had three monkeys. Tutu was the smallest, but the most mischievous. She was tied up most of the time. The little monkey looked so miserable with a collar and a chain that grandfather thought she would be much happier in our home. Grandfather. like to keep unusual pets at first grandmother refused to have a monkey in the house you have enough pets as it is she said referring to grandfather's goat several white mice and a small turtles so children here what happened one day the narrator's grandfather bought a monkey whose name was tutu he bought this monkey from a street entertainer do you know what is the meaning of street entertainer yes a street entertainer is a person who entertains the public in street with his music and acting skills so grandfather bought this tutu from this street entertainer and how much he gave yes he bought it for 10 rupees that man had three monkeys and tutu was the smallest not only that she was most mischievous so here what is the meaning of mischievous mischievous means naughty or in other words you can say that someone who causes trouble in a playful manner tutu looked sad why she looked sad because she was tied with a collar and a chain grandfather thought that she would be happier in their home the narrator or the writer's grandfather had a habit of keeping unusual pets but at first or initially grandmother was not ready to accept tutu she told grandfather that we have enough pets grandfather had a goat he had several white mice and a small turtles so what is the need of keeping this tutu okay let's read the next paragraph but i don't have any i said you are mischievous enough for two monkeys one boy in the house is all i can take ah but tutu isn't a boy said grandfather this is a little girl monkey grandmother gave in she had always wanted a little girl in the house she believed girls were less mischievous than boys 
Tutu was going to prove her wrong. So now, as I told you, at first, grandmother was not ready to accept Tutu. But, grandfather convinced grandmother by saying this, that Tutu is not a boy. She is a little girl monkey. As she heard that, then she gave in. What is the meaning of give in? Give in means accept. That is, grandmother accepted Tutu. As uh, she always wanted to have a girl in their home. As uh, grandmother had a belief that girls are less mischievous than boys. But poor grandmother didn't know that this time Tutu was going to prove her wrong. Okay, let's read the, uh, the next paragraph. She was a little pretty monkey. Her bright eyes sparkled with mischief. She had a white grin which showed her pearly white teeth and terrified Aunt Ruby. Now here the narrator describes its features, how she looks. So this uh, tutu was a pretty little monkey and her eyes always sparkled. You know the meaning of sparkled? Yes, shines. Her eyes always shines with mischief. She had a white grin. Grin means big smile. Usually showing someone's teeth. So when she smiles, she terrifies Aunt Ruby. Now what is the meaning of terrified her? Terrified means to frighten. Okay, when she smiles, what happens? Aunt Ruby got frightened. Okay, let's read the next paragraph. One of the first things I taught Tutu was to shake hands. And she insisted on doing this with all visited the house. Major Malik would have shake hands with Tutu before he could enter the drawing room. Otherwise, Tutu would climb onto his shoulder and stay there, playing with his hair and moustache. Her tail worked as a third hand and added to her good looks. Grandfather believed a tail would add to anyone's good looks. Now, what happened? So, what the narrator taught to do? The narrator says that the first thing that he taught to do is to shake hands with the guest. But here, there was one exception and what was that? That is, when Major Malik visits their home, he was supposed to shake hands before he enters the drawing room. Or else what Tutu can do? She will climb on his shoulder and starts playing with his hair and moustache. So children, see how naughty or how mischievous was to do okay let's read the next paragraph aunt ruby had not been informed of tutu's arrival we heard loud shrieks from her bedroom and went running to see what was wrong it was tutu trying on aunt ruby's petticoats they were much too large of course and when aunt ruby entered the room all she saw was a white bundle with no face jumping up and down on the bed okay so here uh, who is aunt ruby aunt ruby was narrator's aunt so what happened one day she was uh, not aware that tutu arrival she was not aware of tutu's arrival that is, she didn't know that 
there was a monkey in the home. So suddenly what happened? Loud shrieks came out from Aunt Ruby's room. And when they entered Aunt's room, they were surprised to see that it was Tutu who was trying Aunt Ruby's petticoats as it was too long or too large for Tutu. So it appeared like a white bundle having no face and jumping up and down on the bed. So that scared Aunt Ruby. So uh, children here now I am going to conclude the chapter. In the next in the next class we will see how this little mischievous monkey create problems for the narrator's family. So uh, your assignment is to write the word meaning of the difficult words and to form or to frame sentences from this words. Thank you.